Regarding chapter 4, the question has been asked that why is this form of chastisement uh, allowed and when does it apply? Well, in that very same chapter and that verse, God Almighty states that men are guardian over women because Allah has made some of them excel others and because they, meaning men, spend of their wealth. So richest women are those who are obedient and guard the secrets of their husbands with Allah's protection. And as for those on whose part you fear disobedience, admonish them and leave them alone in their beds and chastise them. Then if they obey you, seek not a way against them. Surely Allah is high, great. Regarding chastisement mentioned as a last resort in the verse I just mentioned, a companion reports the Holy Prophet to have said that if at all a Muslim has to beat his wife, the beating should not be such as to leave any mark on her body. According to Abu Dawud and Sunan Nisa'i, the Holy Prophet ﷺ forbade the beating of women at all. But when Hazrat Umar complained that they had become rebellious, he gave the permission with the condition I have just mentioned. But on complaint of ill treatment of women by their husbands, he angrily said that the husbands who beat their wives were not the best among, them, among men. On another occasion, the Holy Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said, the best among you is he who treats his wife best, and I am the best of you in this respect. The divine attributes of high and great mentioned at the end of the verse are also intended to warn husbands that the chastisement of their wives, if at all resorted to, should not be unjust or vindictive or high-handed. For if they are high and great above their wives, there is one who is high and great above all and he shall call husbands to account for any improper use of the qualified authority given to them over their wives. The Holy Quran uses the word nushuz, and nushuz in Arabic means one who is disobedient, one who raises her hand against her husband, and it also means an evil companion. So if any wife has such evil qualities, then these are the only possible ways to keep her at home. Otherwise, she has full freedom to attain a divorce from her husband. The Holy Quran has never stated that the husband must force her to remain at home and keep on chastising her. So in short, the Holy Prophet ﷺ was the one who received every single command. Every verse of the Holy Quran was revealed to the Holy Prophet ﷺ by God Almighty directly. And he was the one who lived every single verse, every single commandment of God Almighty with his own life and showed it practically to his companions and to the world. Do we find even one incident, even one narration where the Holy Prophet ﷺ raised his hand or even his voice against any of his wives? Not once. And as we've just heard in the Hadith, where the Holy Prophet ﷺ said that the best among you is one who treats his wife well, is the one who treats his family well. And who do we look for to find an example? No one else but the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.